Doobity dooey dooey dooey. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. This is The Matrix Awakening, the Unreal 5 experience. And it finally came out. I didn't watch the Game Awards because I didn't want to even hear anything about it. I kind of, you know, shut myself off from social media because I knew that people were going to talk about it. So I wanted to uh, check it out. We've got Nicole here. And she's going to be letting us know all the visuals. Alright, so let's get into this. It says enter. Push X. The countdown pushing, is gone. Pushing X. I pushed X. Good job. Hey, I pushed X. I'm so proud. <laughs> hey, now the numbers and letters are falling. Says so the matrix. Now it's gone. The Matrix. Now it says, now it says searching. Oh, it's Ooh, like a computer cool. screen. Oh. Ooh, that's like the beginning of the first movie. I, I'm yeah, somebody's Sanders. like passed out and laying like on their keyboard you, in front of a computer. Computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors. Reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make. The worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this over that. Why it's we want to make X down a read instead of on a white screen talking Where to do ideas of who old we are and what we want mm -hmm. even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 <laughs> years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in The Matrix Trilogy. Crazy, it's been 20 Those years. films pioneered yeah. digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. It just Hi, like morphed him I'm into Carrie different Moss, people. and I Definitely. played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Like, a tree is not behind him. Like, he's not 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 Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but they needed some sexy action. <laughs> Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. <laughs> Welcome to the Matrix. Wow. You still got it. Like riding a bike, they say. I sometimes miss this version of us. Me too. <clears throat> the hell are you doing back there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. You know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. <laughs> Word of advice: <laughs> agents are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. See you soon. Switch targets with the left stick and you shoot with R2. 
I'm just shooting the tires. Push R2 and then hit. Okay, you gotta switch the tires, like the L button, push, like, to switch different tires. Yeah. Oh, now there's a major jumping onto the car. Okay, shoot him. Oh, you got it. <laughs> he jumped on the back of the car. Oh, you got it. Pretty cool. Here's the here the other one. Oh, there's another uh, one. Ready? On the there's on the three the of them on the roof. Four of them. Sorry, oh, she boys. just kicked the roof off. <laughs> and they fly. <laughs> so the haptic feedback is really, really nice. Cool. I Hang picked on. up my controller because I'm, you know, what, like that. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta go. Oh yeah, we can switch you and give you a uh, scope. What? No, it's okay. <laughs> That's just being really slow. So now they're in a convertible. <laughs> oh, you're shooting me in. The car just came back up. So, so there's like four tires just as we shoot. I feel like it's going to pop up. We've got to keep striking my force. the big gun. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> you boys are gonna get a kick out of this. <laughs> nah, you gotta take it. Come and get it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's just showing a big a bunch of destruction left behind you. Mm. And it says Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, that was really cool. Like, the difference between the two guns was really, really unique. Oh, now we're back to the city moving around. Oh, it says Mass All, Crowd and Traffic System. Oh, math AI. Um, X to toggle math AI visualization. World partition, automatic open world streaming. Uh, dynamic global illumination and reflection. I don't know what that push, uh, push X to toggle day and night. It's just showing different things. Oh. But it does. Um, Niagara says it's a particle system. These must be like components or something of, I don't know, the visualization. There's a virtualized geometry called Nanite. It looks real. Chaos, physics, and destruction system. So these are all parts of the Unreal Engine. Okay. Yeah, and it's just like showing like different graphics and how it looks. Like this yeah. one says, yeah. Like it looks real. Mm-hmm. Meta sound. Procedural audio generation. Yep. So, so that procedural audio generation is um, is really really cool. I've been looking into a lot of the the audio 
like capacity for Unreal 5, and it's gonna be so cool because, um, because now, like interactable elements in the environment will make noise, not just in the direction that something is, but the actual object will make the noise. So if you see, like, for in, for instance, if you're in a forest and there's a tree, oh, and it's you have control and it's your objective, then you can go to it because it's actually making noise, not just something, you know, close to it or, or you know, like how they've done before. All right, so... Okay, it says start button is menu, triangle flies, R1 is sprint, square dismiss controls, because they're, like, listed on the side. So. You walked into a light bulb. <laughs> Press... Triangle to fly drone popped up. Oh, so now I can't see the drone, but it's like must be above you and it looks around. Huh? Yeah, it didn't. It didn't really. I don't know. It didn't really do anything. Yeah, you're walking down the street. Well, a sidewalk. So. So, uh, you said X to sprint. R1, I think it said. Oh, R1. If you walked into another light pole. What are these light poles? Yep, that's the first one. She was running. Oh, that's so cool. she ran it. She ran into a building. <laughs> oh. Alright, so what way should I go? Um, you're looking right at me, so you have to change your camera angle because I can't see what's in front of her. Okay. Uh, you're looking at the ground. <laughs> okay. There we go. Down a little bit more. Okay. If you turn around, you can run that way for a little bit, and then get on the sidewalk. Alright, so when you say turn around, I need a little oh, bit I'm more sorry. description. Um, turn to your left. Yeah. Your body, not the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, turn the camera to the left now a little bit more. Yep. Okay, you can run straight and to the right. Like, forward and then to the right to go around the corner. Uh, more to... The, more, I guess you have to go left first, sorry. Because you turned when you took a step. Okay, now, run left and forward. Because you put yourself in a corner. Alright, now forward. Forward. Angle to the left a little bit where you're going to run into the building again. Like, there's a really long building flush with you on your right, but then there's a sidewalk. So you can just okay. run down the sidewalk. So what's really weird is, like, the angle of this camera is not like I'm following. Oh. Like, it's, it's almost like I hear in the distance the person walking. Yeah, because like, you keep running into that building. Yeah, so, so to the left... I kind of hear, well, not to the left, but kind of forward to the left, I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of cars and people. Alright, so just keep moving forward, right? Yeah. I don't know what the drone is for. Mm. Or, see, there was options. Oh, there's a city map that just pulled up. Um system. There's like a camera, an index card, settings, controller. If you cycle through R1 and L1, you're on city map. That's um, Mega City Explorer running. No, that's camera, exposure, compensation, none. Aperture, um, that's world settings. Simulation, sun rotation, is it 210 degrees, and then there's like density, crowd, traffic, parked cars you can change, they're all at 100%. Visualization is this crowd and traffic off, matrix filter on, nanite view is set to default. Huh, okay. That's kind of cool. I'm, yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Seems like it's um, it seems like it's sort of like a sandbox for creating, like, a game or something. Like, uh, customizing, you know, all the stuff that you see and all that kind of stuff. 
but I'm not really sure yeah. what what the point Ooh. is or what. Right. Right. Um, you walked into a bench. Oh. There you go. Uh, more right. Now you walk into a barrier. Oh, there's a whole barrier stuff that you can't go past this one. But when I walk to the right, what happens? You walk to the right, but turn your camera to the right or I can't see where you're walking. I can just see what's on your left. Okay. Alright, what does you that just do? Keep... What? Did that, like, uh, recenter the camera? Yeah, now you're facing forward. Oh, oh the cool. camera's facing forward. Alright. Good. Off into a tree. Alright, so I want to test this out. Alright, so I'm looking up, looking down. Alright, so I go like this. Does it recenter the camera? No. Ah. That's whack. I thought that's what, uh, what it is. Alright. Alright, I need to get back over here to where I'm supposed to be looking. Alright, that looks good. Walked into a trash can. So, am I supposed to be walking to the left or the right? Uh, you're gonna have to turn left. More left. You're gonna walk into the building. Uh, now turn right to keep going around the sidewalk. Forward a couple steps and then turn right. Can you turn the camera right? I'm not really sure like what I'm supposed to be doing though. I have no idea. <laughs> You're just like walking around a city. Nobody's messing with you, but... What's this? It looks pretty cool. I didn't see anything happen. You're looking in the window right now. It looks like maybe at a restaurant. I just kids are looking at a booth. Yeah, it's like none of this stuff actually does anything. Alright, so back in the options. Okay. Alright, what other stuff do uh, you see in here? Like for. Um... That says sun rotation. What's it called? Oh, stun rotation. I don't know what that is. No, sun. S U N. Oh, sun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yes. and then there's under density, there's crowd, traffic, parked cars, which is all at 100%. Alright, I'm gonna and, turn that down. Okay. So. That's crowd. Oh. 75. 50. Crowd's okay. 70. Traffic is at 100. That's okay. Parked cars are at 100. Now it's at 0%. What's this? Crowd and traffic is... The visualizations. Crowd and traffic is off, it says. And then... And now it's on. And then down is matrix filter. It turns on. And then... Now it's off. And that's nanite view. It's set to default. Oh, primitive. Now everything is red. Um... Instances now there's like a drab green with bright colors on the ground. Uh, that says clusters, it's just a bunch of colors. Uh, triangles, it's triangle shaped colors. That's gonna give me a headache. <laughs> um, that says material ID, now it's purples and pinks. And now you're back to normal. Okay. That's it. That's at least in that menu. I don't know how to get to another menu. Like there's, there's something behind. Oh, invert vertical access is off. Lock sensitivity is 100%. And that's the city map. What? Which I can't. It's like a big circle, almost a circle looking thing, and it's really like pulled out far, like you're far out from it. Oh, uh, okay. I can't see what it says. Um, it's this Mega City Explorer running is what you're on. If you go down, it goes to main menu. That's main menu. Okay. So, so I changed some of those filters. What has changed? Um, turn the camera to the left or right, because all I'm seeing is these buildings. 
Oh, oh. Well, now there's just blocks where the traffic were. Because you turn that matrix thing off, so they're not even real cars. It's just like these glowing white cubes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to go back and turn it back on. Okay. Um, I think it's two to the right. Um, yeah, there. Okay, now go down. Three, four more. There, that's Matrix Filter. It's off. Now it's on. Okay, it must have been the tra crowd and traffic one because they're still there. The one that you turned on that was off. That. Um, go down four. Oh, wait, it's hard. Um, go to the left one. There. Go down four. Oh, wait, nope, it was stayed on the other one. Go down two. Alright, that's crowd and traffic, which is turned on. And now it's off. Uh. But it was off before. And oh. then it made it look weird. Alright, now I'll look back to the right so I can see if it switched it back. Yep. Now that's, things look normal. That's interesting. So. So that's pretty uh, cool. What? Yeah, I don't know if that was a car one by or if it was the people, because the people were gone too. They were just white cubes. Um, so, one thing that I think is interesting is the sound. Like, but I wish I had some, like, something to shoot or something so I can really gauge like the louder sounds and stuff because all I hear now I hear you know like footsteps I hear her walking or whatever but mm -hmm. there's yeah, no just... oh I hear something over to the right so so if there's oh now I do hear people walking uh, look to your right. Oh yeah, there's people walking. There's a lady walking right up towards you. Yeah. Or I didn't think I heard anyone walking. Just heard like the character I was controlling. Now you're out in the street. I wonder if I can steal a car. Like Grand Theft Auto. So so pretty much what this is is um of course it's like a tech demo. But it's also, um, you know, like, it's, it's sort of like a sandbox kind of thing where you can, you know, switch, switch choices like, like what was, it was talking about before in the beginning about choices and, you know, like being able to change stuff and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it is. So all it is is hmm. an environment where you can switch on and off different options and then look and see how that affects, like, the environment that surrounds you in real time. So that's huh. that's kind of cool. So actually, yeah, that that is pretty cool. But it'd be nice if uh if it had some I don't know some guns or something so I could shoot in here here a little bit better. Yeah, that'd be cool. Shooting but yeah. pedestrians. <laughs> well, not really that. I'm just <laughs> shooting that stuff or so I could hear, you know, yeah. like the part um. The part earlier where you know you had the gun, the handgun, and then the machine gun, that was really cool because the haptics were really, um, really good, and then also they were really, really different. Like it wasn't hmm. just like you're pulling the trigger and you hear a different gun. It's like the way the trigger pulls was totally different. different. Yeah, yeah. So like I with the it. handgun, I had to pull the trigger back further for it to shoot and with that's pretty dope <laughs> right and with the the machine gun it was almost like it was like really responsive like it shot really fast so so yeah that's that is pretty cool um so yeah i like i said i can't wait to see you know like what uh what comes of this um i know uh unreal 5 is um like gears will be on Unreal Five, uh, mm. the next gears, so Gear Six will be on Unreal Five. So I can't wait to see.
Odyssey and Epic. <clears throat> Epic is the one that makes Unreal. And uh, they also were the first uh, developer to make Gears. But, I mean, it'll be a coalition now, but it's, it'll still be, it's still be really cool because of what they've already done with the with Gears 5. Like, it's, it's you know, on the older engine, it'll be really cool being able to play it on a newer one, so should be cool and I, I really want to um, see more about or hear more about the audio like like how that converts to Dolby surround and you know all that all that kind of stuff where you know it's like really really dynamic sound and spatial um, audio and all that kind of stuff so because right now it like I can hear you walk to your whoops if you turn the camera to the left and walk straight you'd be like walking across the street like i can hear oh is the drone on i know there it is I oh know, i just hit it oh, okay yeah because when you walk with that drone thing you don't walk into stuff oh really it's like it goes up in the air and i can't see her but you walk and it's like you're not walking into everything and bumping stuff all right so is but it then on? when you switch I think so, because I can't see the drone. You gotta walk forward. Yeah, like you just flew across the street. And now if you turn it off, does it bring her with you? Yep, it moves her. So that will be an easier way for you to move yeah. without running into everything. That's um, turn cool. left, you flow into a building. Turn, okay, turn the camera a little well. bit more left. Maybe it will be, maybe not, because it's still yeah. the same barriers, like, running into stuff, just, even in the air. Right, just not the cars and the right. trees and that stuff. Yeah. It's the buildings. So, so yeah, that should be pretty cool. I mean, I, I think it'd be cool if they come out with, um, you know, a Matrix game. I know they did it a long time ago for, like, PlayStation 2. That's but, what I'm going to say, is it's going to become, like, an actual game? I do not know. Maybe. Maybe it will be. Like, could be. Um. So, so like I was saying about the spatial audio, like I can hear. It doesn't sound like it's in full surround sound, but I can hear little things, like to the left and right. But like I said, there's not enough sound variation like I hear you know like the wind and I hear in the distance horns and I hear you know um, breaks yeah, it's a pretty quiet city for as big as it looks right <laughs> and there's no pigeons like that guy <laughs> like there's no birds or nothing running around or flying yeah. around so I think I think it'd be pretty cool I think it should be should be pretty interesting mm -hmm. um and if I find out that there's more stuff to to do in this game, then I will come back with another a video, you know. But for right now, I mean, there's a big map, and it seems like this is just exploration, you know, just walking around the city and looking at the sights and seeing how the AI crowd and, and stuff like that, how it moves inside the environment and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. But it's more of a visual thing than you know like um audio and all that kind of stuff at this point so uh so yeah this is this is actually kind of cool um so definitely stay tuned to the channel we'll be bringing you more awesome videos as always all right i am blind ohio gamer and Thanks again to Nicole for giving us the visuals. Anytime. And we will catch you guys later. Alright, peace.